so that we don't waste time as the economy might be uh, losing steam. And I would like to see if we can make the water drinkable in Taiwan. Uh, maybe I said this earlier uh, in my earlier sessions, but I was told that during the Japanese times, water was drinkable. But after that, no one maintained it, and therefore the water became undrinkable. But if water becomes drinkable, then I think it will add so much to the image of Taiwan and to the public health. And Taiwan's health system is one of the best in the world in terms of helping average people. I'm sure there will be a lot of people, I don't know whether this is a good idea at this juncture, but I'm sure many people in the mainland would love to come together uh, health treatment in Taiwan. And if the water is drinkable, that will be even, it will really show them that look, Taiwan is well there. Uh, in those areas that may not add directly to the you know, economic growth and development, but would raise the uh, living standard, the real living standard of people if water is fully drinkable, and that adds to a new set of business, especially with people coming from abroad. I think those are the areas where I think I want to do some more from the government side. And finally, of course, you already mentioned the defense industry. Uh, in the defense area, the way communist governments, communist armies work is that they throw a huge number of soldiers or fighter planes or whatever the case may be uh, without regard to losses. When you study the war between Germany and Soviet Union during World War II, Germans always have best we better weapons, better machine guns, better tanks, better fighter planes, but they always lost because the Russians just overwhelmed them with numbers. What that means is that if you are fighting that, that kind of armies and navies, you have to have numbers, mm. not just the quality. And if you buy American air flights, they are best in the world but they're also extremely expensive. So suppose you have 35 of those F-35s, for example. That 35 points would be great, but if the other side's coming up at 400, then you know, 35 against 400 is not, not going to be sufficient. So maybe Taiwan should come up with its own uh, domestic, domestic airplanes that can handle the kind of numbers that the other side will be uh, pushing toward you. Because unless we have sufficient numbers, just having a good fighter planes, fantastic fighter planes, but a very few of them is not going to be very credible. To be a credible deterrent, to discourage the other, the other side from making adventures, we have to have sufficient numbers. And those numbers will have to be large enough and soon enough so that it will be a sufficient deterrent from the other side to the other side uh, trying something funny. And I understand that Taiwan's industry is now working with American industries and others <coughs> and trying to come up with these uh, weapons with sufficient numbers. I wish they do that as quickly as possible so that they will have enough numbers to discourage the other side from trying something funny.